Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Love is unconditional. In love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be who you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Mega boys, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 51, NASDAQ down 14, S&P's down three and a half, gold contract flat at 1,255 an ounce. Silver, up a penny at $17.46 an ounce. Platinum, up 99 cents at 9.35 an ounce. Copper, 2.10 a pound. Light sweet crude, off 45 cents, trading at $49.90 a barrel. Bonds, the 10-year note, up eight ticks, 130.04, 30 a bond, up 23 ticks, 163.30, king dollar, king dollar down 167 ticks, 97.83, the euro is at $1.10, and the yen is trading at 103.89. Our phone number is 877-927-6648, give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world, in the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You have the SPY come down. 57 million shares. Bottom line, folks, not even close. Um, we are going into 101 million. This thing wants to bounce. We'll see uh, when IBM comes out with numbers. Netflix just come out with numbers, and Netflix is trading up uh, pretty good here. Uh, the IBM, they haven't come out yet, but they're going to be out any minute. Uh, so, S&P wants higher price. We do take a look at the Dow Industrials. You take a look at the Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials pull back $51. We're at 18086 And volume-wise, we did uh, $706 million out here on the NYSE. On the NASDAQ composite, we did $1.4 billion. So in both cases, you're pulling back dramatically light of volume. That's a market that wants to go higher. NDX 100, the three Qs. Three Qs out here. They had closed at a price point of uh, 116.82. Right now, they're trading at 117.19 because of Netflix, because Netflix, NFLX. Netflix closed at a price point of $99, and it's trading up 20 bucks right now. It's at $119.25. And yeah, that's way up. Okay, let me pull this back a bit. So your last high out here... Well, the low of the high is 118. Yeah, it's going for it. Well, 119, 118 is the low of the high. 133 uh, was the high. The NASDAQ composite, same setup in, in, in the NASDAQ composite. What you have with the NASDAQ composite? Uh, NASDAQ composite goes back $14, dramatically lighter volume. This composite and the NDX 100, they both want to go after their highs. Uh, the highs that we're talking about uh, would be 53.40 in the composite. Now, I don't see the S&Ps and the Dow Industrials going after those highs. What I see in, inside the uh, S&P and the Dow Industrials is that they will go after the downdraft that was created on September 9th. Uh, September 9th, we, and, and the SPY, that would be $217.03. If you take a look at the cash S&P, we're dealing with the, with the cash S&P, you're dealing with... Uh, 21.69.08. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold needs some uh, wide price spread accelerated volume. Right now, he had a sideways move out here today. Uh, gold's trading at uh, 12.55.70. Uh, gold has to get back inside the downdraft from October 4th. That, uh, that number there is 12.69. Silver is the same type of setup. What you have with silver? Silver is uh, trading at uh, $17.46. That number to get back inside of would be $17.74. The bonds, the 10-year note and the 30-year bond, they both want higher price. Um, the 10-year the note has got back inside its higher range. You came back inside the $129.26. You're at $130.04. Um, bottom line, that's saying that uh, the 10-year note wants to start climbing once again to get up to the $131.23. The 30-year bond, what do you have with the 30-year bond? 30-year bond also has rejected lower price out here this morning. 
this afternoon, all day actually. Um, we're at 163.31. The 30-year bond to get back inside the higher ranges would be 164.13. Um, so we'll see uh, how that little baby wants to basically run back inside it. If we go over to IBM, IBM just come out with numbers. IBM, the estimate on IBM was $3.23. They made $3.29. IBM closed at $154.77. That's trading at $155 to $156 right now. And let's go uh, good old King Dollar. So if you go over to King Dollar, this is what you have. Um, King Dollar right now uh, traded from a price point of $98.12. 98.15 today to 97.85, 97.850. Now, 97.610 is the swing high from July 25th, folks, that uh, it took out last week. Now, it took that out with lighter volume. What I expect we're going to see happen here is that, because what we did do is this. We made a higher high today inside the dollar index. So you have a higher high. Dramatically lighter volume, gave it up. Now we'll see whether it can get back inside the $97.610. And I expect you're going to get back inside there. Why? Because the indices today and Friday, last Friday, you came into the lows. Well, you went lower. You had dramatically lighter volume on the dailies, on the weeklies. Today, you come down dramatically lighter volume. You get the pop already happening in the NQs from Netflix. Um, and what I expect you're going to see, uh, as these numbers start coming out, we're going to get more pops. And the good old NDX 100 and the NASDAQ uh, is going to basically bring the rest of this market into higher price. Um, IBM will help with the aspect of the uh, Dow Industrials. IBM's up a couple points right now. That'll put a couple um, juicy numbers inside the Dow Industrials. And then, of course, what we're going to have uh, each and every... Uh, day coming out here. We've got a lot more earnings that are going to be coming out and somehow, some way, um, you're going to see this market trying to get to a higher price. I do expect we're going to have a failure as we go up into those levels once again. You're going to see the volume die in the vine and what we have here is a large trading range and the top of that range inside the cash S&P is the 2169. Right now you're 21. Uh, 26. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Uh, Dow Industrials uh, finished down 51. NASDAQ was off 14. S&Ps were off 4.5. We're going to be right back, folks.